Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to share a, um, ha a Halloween Happy Mail um, that's going out before I finish packing packaging it up completely. Um, when I post this video, this will have already been done and mailed out to the person. I may even wait until this person actually opens it before I share my video. So if it's closer to Halloween, you know why. So, um, I guess I can say now on the video, since this will be posted after she receives it, <laughs> but some of us, uh, Miss Pat, Pat Sweeney, many of you know, um, put together a little secret, um, 13 days of Halloween type thing for Miss Susan Tootsie Tucker, and she let us pick our numbers and... When Susan receives them all, she will have opened them and have her video up for everyone to see what everyone sent. And this is what I decided to send. Um, I may not take every bit of it out, but I did just stop because I was about to tie this up with some ribbon. So this, it was actually, I got some uh, Halloween Happy Mail from someone one time. Uh, she was getting rid of her Halloween stuff. I actually have that video up. Um, and I believe this bag was in there. It was just the bag with like the background paper, this background paper. I actually covered that with something else. And this um, shaker part. So I added this giant holographic spider. I think I might need to add something else there. So anyway, um, it was a little... Let me take this off. Um, and speaking of this, um, this was inspired by Melissa, who's the Vintage Goose. She has a tutorial on how to make the hidden paper clip. Um, they can be just hidden paper clips, skinny, or you can do them this way and use it as a topper. You can kind of see the indention here where my paper clip is. But I'm really liking um, this way of doing it because I can make a bag topper and... Now she can take it off and reuse it, or she can, you know, whatever she wants. She can take it off, you know, the rosette off and reuse this part. Um, and this is the first time I made it, um, making the little hidden paper clip. Um, if you're interested in that, I will link uh, Melissa's video in the description if you'd like to check out her tutorial on how to make it. So that was my little bag topper that I made into that. And like I said, this was just a little paper bag. Um, and I've tucked some goodies in here that she can use for projects. Let's see, I've added some little spider webs and a little mummy frame type thing. I fussy cut the little ghost and a little girl with her little broom. And then over here are some little Halloween bingo cards, some washi, and some tags cut out of the coordinating paper. And, yeah, it was this side that was the actual flap of the bag um, that's been matted. And then this is the pocket made from the shaker. And there are a couple of goodies inside there. So I'm going to pop that back on. And these are really not only fun, but simple. Um, let's see, I'm going to show you. Well, let's do this. It's easier to start from the back to me, for me, because of that shorter part. So you just put it on the edge and slide it on over. Push it down as far as you want it to go. So, yeah, that is one part. I did some little, um, kind of like the paper strips, also shown by Melissa, the Vintage Goose, but I did it with crepe paper and a strip of washi tape that I had in my Halloween stash. And, what's the baby? Sure. I can't see you, but you can say hi. Hey. <laughs> okay and um i had some bags i wanted to share with her so i've got some little goodie bags 
I cut a piece of chipboard here so that they can stay flat and not get all messed up. And I'm going to have this tied up with some cute little uh, Halloween ribbon. Oh, I forgot this part. Um, I left it without a back topper so that it can just um, slip under that um, little paper clip piece. Um, it is a die. I used this. I got this last year. Um, it was a die for a little Halloween lantern, but I cut one of the panels off and used foam and made it into a shaker. And uh, I, believe, I believe that was made from the Spellcast collection. Yeah. And um, I was going to say also for anyone interested, the papers, um, the majority of the papers and like the tags and all that I've used here were in that D stash box I got before. And they actually came from, was it Michael's or Joanne's that has the Miss Sparkling Company? Um, I believe these were small paper pads from last year. Let's see the skeletons, the girls, the web. Um, and that is where the papers came from. And where I cut my little girl from. And also this paper pad. Skeletons and ghost pumpkins. Um, I like purple, but I'm not too fond of this one. <laughs> but, so yeah. Um, these simple little, what were they, probably a dollar or two, two dollars. Yeah, so these simple little cheap pads can come in handy. So anyway, and I used some goodie bags to put her stuff in. Um, in this bag, and the card that I wrote for her is there, um, and this here you can see the Halloween it looks similar to the shaker but it is the actual lantern piece um, I folded it in half like this so to package it it has vellum in the window and when she gets it she can take it out pop it open to a square and she could put a candle in it or little bits and pieces from her desk whatever she wants to do and then I had some of these really cute little, um, just little notepad and pens that were also in that Halloween box before. So I wanted to share one of those with her. She could keep it on her desk, pop it in her purse, you know, whatever she chooses. And then, last but not least, I used another little goodie bag, it says Boo, to house my memory decks card that I created. Um, this is the, I think this is from, what's it called? Beautiful Knots. So, uh, originally when I first started making it, it was just the pocket. Um, and, oh, I need to fix that. Star, secure that a little better. But it is Velcro closure. And I used this little piece. And... I'm not going to show it. Um, these are attached and each one has some information. Um, so she can take this out. My information, take it out. And just have the memory decks or reuse it, re-gift it, whatever she wants to do. But I used a pocket from a um, the nine pocket sleeve pages. Um, and used my fuse tool. And that's how I made this. When that little um, information piece is not in, it does shake much better. What is this, sweetie? Yeah, I'm just a second. I'm almost done. So, I took a couple of papers um, from the other one that kind of matched. Double, uh, you know, put them together to give it some sturdiness. And punched it with my Memory Dex punch. And attached it so it's like a little shaker pocket memory decks so yeah um, I had fun putting this together for Susan I really hope she enjoys it and that's all for this video I'll catch you guys on the next one bye